Hey guys, not only did Vale get a new skin, but he also received a huge buff. Now his ult deals an insane amount of damage when you level up more damage instead of area control. I was actually quite surprised when I saw how much damage this new buff Vale can inflict. With this build, you won't just be able to instant kill these squishy heroes, but also some sturdy fighters as well. Also, if you end up enjoying this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I forgot that level 3 is better to level up his second skill first, so when I can choose the extra skills talent, I can choose knock the targets in the air while also being able to level up his ult. But after level 4, you want to max his first skill. Here, you can see that I will level up his second skill talents first, but because I level up the first skill at level 3, now I won't be able to get the ultimate. But of course, I just wanted to show you firsthand the silly mistake that some players make, especially if they don't play Veil that often. Hayabusa is being extremely reckless here. The whole enemy team is missing, and almost no one from our team is near the turtle. This is like helping the opposition take the turtle. But somehow I managed to last hit the turtle. Remember guys, now you want to increase the ultimate's damage instead of area control. There's a huge difference in damage between those two. I actually wanted to go for Angela first, because if we go for 1-1 first, Angela will most likely ult her and she will most likely end up surviving. We don't have the damage to one-shot her yet. But regardless, Kufra just missed his stun anyway. Kufra just ulted Helcor away. He's acting pretty sus. I just saw Dead use her ultimate, and I remember that her ult has quite a long cooldown, so I didn't really have to worry about her. But the one way is getting extremely fed. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Such an interesting match.
I actually did not expect Angela to be there. I completely panicked. XD In the early game, Bell's damage is not that insane, but once he gets his Clock of Destiny and Lightning Truncheon, he can one-shot pretty much anyone that is not a tank. Remember to use the bush often when playing any kind of mage. The surprise element is what will allow you to gain more kills. Just looking at the map, it was quite obvious that the next fight will happen in the bottom lane. But Paquito was smart enough and took this chance to split push the top lane. Paquito has full HP, so I thought I wasn't going to be able to one-shot him, especially because he also bought the major resistant boots. But I was early shocked. I seriously didn't expect to kill him just like that. I didn't think the latest buff would make Vel so broken. And it's not like I was overly farmed and he was under farm. In fact, he had more level and gold than me, so I was really surprised. Bell is probably one of the strongest mages at the moment. Missing. I don't have my ult, so it's not a good idea to engage 1-1 one -one right now. Here, I won't be using my second skill, because if Ode uses her ultimate, no one will be able to stop her. One step ahead. <laughs> 
Even with the extra shield from Angela, Bell was still able to one-shot Paquito. That's absolutely naughty. Even though I cannot see anything on the map because of Elcor's ult, I was still looking at the top of the screen and paying attention to my teammate's HP. Once I saw that Kadita's HP was going down, I knew immediately that Elcor was attacking Kadita. What I like about this new skin is that every time Bell uses his ultimate, he shows his emoji. When joining this match, I was just planning to show off his new skin. I really didn't expect that the latest buff he received will make him such a scary mage. I think he's going to start getting picked quite often. <laughs> <laughs> 